Hey, welcome back, YouTubers. We're back. Big Suds beer review Saturday night. Did the Abita Strawberry Lager several hours ago. Uh, you know, did a couple other beers getting a little bit loose here. Getting ready for the Royal Rumble, one of the best nights of the year. And normally you say it's on Sunday, and it is. It has been growing up here recently, but with the AFC title game tomorrow, and just I think, that, I think too, like it's better for fans on Saturday. More fans can stay out late, you know, they don't have to be rushed on Sunday night and be get home and. You know, I think it's just a better feel for fans. I know when the night raw Friday night's about it's a better feel. So anyway, we're back here today and I've got one that I have not tried that I'm very excited about. And again, picked this up in Tennessee on my trip with Matt Parshall. Uh this is the Boulevard Brewing Company Maple Mood. Look at this folks. Maple Mood from Boulevard out of Kansas City, Missouri. Um and you say, Well, you're drinking this for uh you're drinking a Kansas City beer with your who day tomorrow. Well, I just I love Boulevard beers, it was in the fridge and it's a limited release. It's a uh, it's a barrel aged imperial stout aged on maple syrup. Now, I've had so many maple syrup beers, so many barrel aged beers. We're gonna see how this one hits. Maple wood, maple mo maple mood, mood. Excuse me, maple mood. Limited release, twelve point five, big time ABV. Uh, please enjoy by October thirteenth to twenty four. So you're looking at another year and a half to two years on this. Love Boulevard. They always, you know, the great uh, Dave. Up in Cleveland, Dr. Dave always said, look for the date stamp on the bottle. It is there. Uh, these came in four packs. I think it was 20 bucks, which is, I mean, think about that. $19.99 for 12.5% four bottles. Um, again, limited release here, but uh, we're going to go ahead and get into this. Now, Boulevard Beer Company first had them in Kansas City uh, in 2006, 15 with my dad. We were at a Kansas City Royals game. And uh, you guys are baseball fans. George Brett had a sweet, not a sweet, but like a, section of this thing that he paid for hall of famer great royals great george brent that boulevard bottle burning cap there um that he paid for and uh that opened up it had food and it was in the outfit it had upscale food and then had boulevard brewing was there and of course you know this was before i was huge into craft beer boulevard has been around forever and i drank some of the beers at the game and i was like these beers are legit and they are um you know it's just a staple of good consistent craft beer craft beer um you know, I think they are a massive brewery. I think they distribute in 40 states. They are a commercial, uh, you know, a, a mass produced, mass distributed brewery. But they maintain their quality, especially on these beers. You know, they do do IPAs, they do some lagers, but these beers here, these stouts, these all, these are limited releases. So they do a good job. Um, like I said, some the rye on rye and rye on rye uh, are some of the better barrel -like beers I've tried. And again, I'm, I'm over 5,200 beers now on set, probably over closer to 6,000. If you really want to go and check what the beers I haven't even checked in, which lately I'm checking every beer and I'm making sure of it. But uh, yeah, they the Rye and Rye and, and you know some of the Manhattan Cask and the big stouts from them. I thought their cinnamon bun this year in cans was phenomenal. Uh, a lot of people thought it was too sweet. It was sweet, but a cinnamon roll, a cinnamon bun is sweet. So you know a lot of people. And again, everybody not knocking anybody here and not to hear them poke fun, but when people try a cinnamon roll beer and they say, "Oh, it's too sweet," well, a cinnamon roll is sweet. So. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, <laughs> I don't know what people expect. You know, <laughs> it's like, uh, I don't know. Anyway, so here it is, Maple Moon. Let's get a quick aroma. The beer was out about 20 to 25 minutes. Polish off the Amber Bach. Yeah. <laughs> Not getting any real maple syrup in this smell. I'm getting bourbon barrel and booze. It is 12.5, so I'm going to say for a minute to get into this. Ah. Uh, so 12.5. Uh, without further ado, folks, let's get into it. The Boulevard Brewing Company, Maple. We'll thank the brewers out there in KC. I'm uh, going to continue Dr. Dave's old legend. And uh, thank you guys at home for watching. Cheers. Let's get a sip and a note. Get a sip. Cheers. So... I got a couple of things on this. Um, the beer is average. Um, it is a barrel aged stout. You get barrel. I will say I'm going to give it a quarter extra point for being smooth, though. Um, it almost tastes just like a Russian Imperial stout with a little bit of barrel, but there's no maple. But it is very smooth. It 12.5, you know, this is not a slushy gate. This ABV is legit. This isn't 450. The ABV is legit. It's 12.5. It is smooth. 
I'm getting tons of this smooth. There's a lot of dark dark malts in there. Uh, there's definitely some barrel. I don't know what barrel they used on this. You know, I never really. A lot of breweries don't really disclose what uh, what barrel they use. Some do, some don't. I think I want to say a lot. Maybe a 50 50. You know, cause a lot of barrel a lot of breweries going to detail how many months and what barrel. And uh, this one does not, which is again about half the time. But I just don't get any maple, and I mean none. I mean they, they might be a tiny smidge, but. And maple, you know, it's so weird because we've had so many maple beers where they're just maple out of a tap, like the street side beer, the North High maple brand, that are awesome. And then you get, I've had dozens of, upon dozens of maple beers where there's a decent amount of maple, like it's there, moderate, and then hundreds of beers where no maple. And this comes into the no maple for sure. Um, if you're scoring on the, the 10 scale, 6, 7, 6, 8 maybe, um, I just... There's just not a lot of maple, and and, and really, even for it, that, that's smooth, and you get that stout, that barrel, but even that's a little bit thin as well. You know what I mean? Like, I get, it tastes like a barrel-edged stout with no adjuncts, and just thin, you know? And, I, and it pours thick. I mean, it's 12 and a half dark. This kind of pours thin, so I have to say it's not awful, but if you're a maple fan like me, very disappointed. Um, again, the one point of this, though, is that it's an easy drinker. It's thin. And it's smooth, so I'm giving that. I'm gonna give it, you know, on my untapped score, probably a three seven five for the fact that it is smooth and drinkable at twelve five. But disappointed, no maple, and also too, like you said, just a bit thin. The big stout you want to be heavy. It's almost like it almost drinks like a Russian Imperial because it is twelve five, but it has a milk stout body a bit. It is a bit thin. I mean, it's not a bad beer, and I think like you know, for the price, I will. The price, I think you could, again, I was talking about the earlier beat review, is the price a big factor. So with the price, I think you could still say it's a good beer, 12 and a half, it'll get you lit. But see, I just don't, don't taste maple in this. Tasting some bourbon. Um, just not tasting the amount of maple that I want to taste in this beer. Um, 375. We're going to be back with a beer from Tennessee coming up on deck. Tennessee Brewery. Sip on this for a little bit and get the rumble started. Cheers, everybody. We'll see you soon.